as a Chinese person who I feel has valid opinions on his own culture and having spent time in this country as someone that, that has really made anti-racism and equality and civil rights such an important thing for me personally it's important for the truth to be the overriding factor within any conversation that we have I know many Chinese people, um, friends and family, and they would all be absolutely disgusted at what is going on in China at the moment. This isn't me defending any of the stuff that happened, clearly not. I would never tell a black person how to react to the oppression of their people. We have ethnic minority, nurses, doctors, and everyday people dying in much higher proportions. Um, and yet that conversation gets shut down at the moment because of this dynamic of, of, of holding China to account um, and all Chinese people to account, you know, for what is the actions of a few. African Union put out a um, press release recently in conjunction with Chinese authorities saying how the Chinese government had actually taken action against some of the individuals that had persecuted Africans um, and some of the authorities that had actually facilitated this persecution and that hasn't seen the light of day here. Um, and I would also say, you know, take that with a pinch of salt as well. In 60s and 70s America, Asian Americans were a huge part of the civil rights movement um, and actually a large part of the Black Panthers now is something that doesn't ever get spoken about. racism of Chinese towards black people is something that is very actually intertwined with our own experiences of colonialism and imperialism. Those are all conversations that we need to have that lead to more unity between different races. All I can do is, is to offer my point of view. Um, and hope that maybe that can bring something positive to the conversation.